welcome crowns welcome back to another video in today's video i'll be talking about um the, the latest news in town um, um it's not it's not a good news but then i want to share i'd like to share with you all the take of our pastor ebenezer hagan okay to you um it's about it's about the sudden death of our sister Osinechi. I want to read so that I get the name right. Osinechi Ngwa Chuku and Matters Arising. I want I, I want to talk about this because huh, for the couple of past couple of days, like it's been a lot of um things people have said concerning this in, in respect to domestic violence and uh, results which, which resulted in the death of our sister okay, and our mother in the world so um i want to read this submission this is one of the best submissions i've ever read from our pastor and um, concerning this um issue and then uh, it's a humble submission and then it's the reason why I'm sharing this is because it's um, around the issue of marriage, abuse and divorce and just to inspire and encourage someone okay so that um, you, you you don't get scared of marriage because I've been seeing a lot of things hey this thing called marriage this thing called marriage blah 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 and young ladies and then the youth are now even scared to get married so this is to encourage you on my platform and then this segment called Class Inspiration. Okay, so without wasting my time, let's get right into the video. Okay, so uh, this is to help young people as I said. So like, I want to open the article, it's on my Joy Online. I'll leave the link in the description and also um somewhere here so that you can check it out the sudden death of our sister osinechi Mwachuku, and matters arising hmm i'll be reading and then sharing my take as well and um, he said which is pastor benazir hagan said after taking my phone on this particular story that has brought social media buzzing for a past number of days I decided to pour my bit. It's so disturbing to get to know that the news announcing the passing away of Sister Osinechi Nwachuku, a renowned Nigerian gospel musician who shook the world with her most anointed music in ministry, is true, at least according to social media. There's this thing about social media you don't trust it when the news just pours out like honestly i didn't believe it so i heard the history concerning this woman and it would interest you to know that this um death or the reported death of the renowned gospel artist 42 years occurred in the nigerian capital of abuja on Friday, 8 April, just this 8 April, okay, just like a week ago. After being hospitalized for a few days, according to social media, they said the um, husband hit her chest and then she fell and she was taken to the hospital, put on life support, but then it got worse and then she lost her life and this woman's death has really caused a lot of um shakes in the or do you call it the christendom okay that's why i wanted to share this okay so notwithstanding the sudden death of sister uh, osinechi 
if it is true and the surrounding issues concerning it there's been so many questions lurking around okay a lot of patients asking a lot of questions about this and the questions some of the questions are was she a powerful woman of god as we supposed or at least see in her music ministrations or some of another question is if yes could god not have saved her you see me patients what we think and another question is where is god in all of this the next one is is it the will of god that we stay in abusive marriages and suffer a painful death like hers when divorce is permissible for a christian when is sorry when is divorce permissible for a christian and what lessons can be drawn from this episode so these are the questions uh pastor and then the national youth leader for um the church of principles pastor Ebenezer hagan had to say about it so i want to read some of his um submissions baby girl <laughs> baby girl wants to wrap in this video okay so let's allow her okay so unfortunately they pass on the fine details also the fact that social media again tells us the so-called husband has been arrested and i even read on a friend's post wishing that so-called um, husband rots in jail means the case is on its way to be um, categorized as a criminal matter at least officially and <laughs> I think, as you said in the writer, we we'll we should all be careful how we jump into conclusions, okay? Uh, especially with this issue, marriage issues are a bit dicey, and then we shouldn't jump into conclusions like that. He also mentioned that, however, the many questions this particular development poses, especially to young people on social media, demand that we speak to it. Because a lot of young people are like asking us of questioning, questioning Christianity, questioning God, why he allows such things to happen. It's a very long article and I'm not going to read everything, but then I've highlighted bits and pieces that we want to. So first, um, was Sister Osinechi Wakchuku really a Christian and that, and that powerful, a woman of God, as we see her portrayed in her music ministry? And he answers, well, think, I think after watching one, two, three of her music videos, everyone will answer this for themselves. For themselves. Said, this was a woman of God backed by heaven. Like his, her administrations were like so, so, so powerful. And you can see people falling under the anointing when any time she stands to minister. So like, you can't doubt that. So he was really used by god and one thing i want all of us to notice that god is god okay and then when god gives you something gives you um a, a, a gift okay or gives you a gift or something to operate in in your as your purpose on earth he doesn't take it back and you can recount that in a lot of bible stories okay so especially in her popular song the cry you will cry i personally went to search for this song to listen and you can see that the holy spirit was like really um in this song and anytime he performs like and he even said it here for instance uh one sees how god takes over and um rents the heart of her immediate audience in the room people are seen in the video so be weeping and showing um, other physical evidential signs of repentance she herself is always wrapped in the lyrics of the song like he, she's embodied in the song so like it's she's a very powerful and uh, powerful woman sorry let's go to the second um question it says if she was a woman of god and the one that cried god's power why didn't god save her from the alleged abuse and eventual death Hmm. this is a tough one okay because this question is to god <laughs> and you know we don't have to question god god is as i said earlier is god okay he knows what he does and um this is um pastor's uh, submission he said <laughs> this is a tough one 
and the ultimate answer rests with God alone. Scripture, however, helps us sail through some of the difficulties. Quite clearly, the Bible responds to issues of such nature. And I'll just read the scriptures so that we can all go and read. Psalm 116 verse 15 reads, Precious in the sight of the Lord is the death of his sin. See, it's like, 727 now like by i have i just have the feel to share this with um you all that's why i'm sitting here filming with my baby as you can see she even wants to sleep but i want to do this and we can even see from uh ezekiel chapter 33 verse 11 the niv said say to them as surely as i live declares the lord I take no pleasure in the death of the wicked, but rather that they, they turn from their ways and live. So you can see that God doesn't even delight in the death of the wicked. God delights in the death of the righteous. So if this woman, as portrayed in her videos, like is a righteous woman and this death uh, happened, um, as Christians, I think we should like have faith that he's, she's going to a better place. Like this world is just cruel, you know? Yeah, so... I think this question we shouldn't even think of questioning god about it because even jesus for one that we all was crucified like was naked so as christians i'm not saying um the marriage was um the marriage uh, she didn't have the choice to leave the marriage or anything like that abuse is painful even emotional abuse first i want to say no one should tolerate any form of abuse in a marriage being it's verbal emotional and like even the verbal one is deteriorating how much more physical abuse like you bab uh, yes yeah, so that was what i would say and um to think of the fact that um christians were questioning god like this 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 is the peak of it okay so we should know that and even for the people wishing the doom of um, her, her husband, like, no, no, as Christians, like, that's not the fruit of the spirit. That's not what we have to bear. You get it. Uh -huh. So we should even pray that the man, um, although he has committed a sin, like, repents. Okay, so let's, I want to ask to move to the, what do you call it? The next question was, um, <laughs> he said, so let me hit the nail on the question I posed. Could God have saved her, saved her? Could God have saved her and this anointed lady, sister, uh, Osinechi, from the dead? But was, but what if this was not something he, God, knowing all things, did, did not want to do? And which of us can ask God about how he manages his will? Like, <laughs> we can't ask anything, you guys. We can't ask anything, man. Because this brings us to the question of where is God in all of this? When was God in domestic abuse? We hear our sister, Osine, she wrestled with for a good part of her marital life. Where was God in the struggle that led to her? Uh, to such painful death through the orchestration and so called her called husband says so called husband if what we have heard is true and where is god in the suffering of others who are going to various shares of oppression in the world this again is a difficult question and only god can answer we can answer for god in simple understanding the problem is a problem of evil is philosophical and theoretical Theological frame of the perception of yes, but for no doors. Yes, but let's continue. So in view of this, I think um what I would like to say about this is like you can't question God though. God was there. I learned um her, her pastor or her spiritual head, uh a pastor apostle Paul Lynchy, even stepped in this matter. Bible scriptures to back it's like as Christians we should always um, note that the Bible is our source for everything, like our guide. So anything we should turn to the Bible, not what the society, like the society thinks or about everything, especially when it comes to marriage. What is God saying about marriage? 
okay so i think uh i'd like to end this video here and i would like to read the conclusion he said that the fact that marriage makes two people one indeed and if they really married or in the first place separation should uh separating should leave one of them normal